next Wednesday. I'm really stressed. What? Why? Maurice said he wants to kill you. Where's your ring? Fatima. Everyone is looking for answers. What's really going on with Karen and Zach? I'm getting so fed up with all of this. Why are you doing this? Why? But are they prepared for what they might find? This can't happen to us. I can't go to jail. This is going too far. I got a cousin that can take care of this. What are you saying? The less you know, the better. Tyler Perry's sisters. All new next. You get a cousin who can handle all the business. Sabrina is absolutely scared to go to jail. Fatima is so over Zach and the whole current situation, and so am I. Hey, my lovies, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing amazing. Your girl is here with another trailer breakdown. With Talavari Sisters season six, we're at episode seven. Can you believe we're at episode seven already? Titled Ordinary Pain. Now, before i dive into the breakdown you guys know what to do if you haven't subscribed as yet hit that subscribe button turn on the post notification bell so that you can be notified each friday when i post a video like share and definitely leave a comment and tell me your thoughts all right let's get into it let's start where the episode ended last week right which was zach and karen having a conversation and then fatima showed up let's start with the conversation that karen and zach was having why are these two acting like somebody who's both persons who have been in love for so long and they just um are catching up on old times like karen is all like if you see karen's face doesn't she look like somebody who's in love like a teenager who's in love that's how she looks like even when zach was walking away like she was holding on to his hand like what's with all the extra stuff now okay so I was listening to the space, the spaces with Devel and I think it was Jeremy and Cameron and, and a whole lot of persons. And he was basically, you know, he's going to defend Zach. So he was basically saying that he doesn't understand or Zach doesn't understand where Fatima is coming from. And when we get to watch the second half of Zatima, we're going to see why Zach reacts to death the way Zach reacts to death. Okay, I get that. So... I, what I wanted to say yesterday to him was like, okay, it's fine for you to react the way how you react to death. But, I mean, what's with all the extra shit? Like, what's with all the holding of the hands and um, all the point? Yes, you have said several times to Karen that, like, Karen, I don't want you. I'm in love with Fatima and whatever. But, and he's saying that Fatima is the one that told him to play nice with Karen. And that's the reason why he's being so nice. But, I mean you can be nice but i think there is a limit to how much nice you should be if you guys get what i'm trying to say <laughs> like you can play nice with your baby mother because you don't want her to put you on uh, child support right but like what's with all the extra shit the holding of the hands and the kissing on the cheek like don't you think that's a bit too much for playing nice i mean you we can play nice without all that extra shit that's what i'm saying like all the extra stuff is, is absolutely not necessary and i don't think he should have made it gone that far for karen to feel that comfortable with him to be kissing him on the cheek and hugging him and be like boy get some breakfast and, and all that stuff like why are you so concerned about what what he eats and we can get um breakfast from the place that we used to go to like she's she's all in love again like that situation has put her back all in love again like she she doesn't even see anything else like she's absolutely in love and then fatima drives up and fatima sees them um, when he's getting the kiss on his cheek now at this point fatima is not wearing her ring like she's she's just i think that she's at the point where she's over the situation and it's becoming uh, disrespectful instead of just playing nice like he's not getting it He's just doing what he's doing because Fatima said to play nice and it's he's not seeing how uncomfortable she isn't with the entire situation. You can play nice, but you're making your fiance real uncomfortable. Like this is the part that I was talking about where she was holding on to his hand, like, why didn't you just let go? Like, what's with all the holding of the hands part? Right? But she has become so uncomfortable with the situation and he's not understanding why she's upset or why she's uncomfortable she, she she hasn't been vocal about it but i'm hoping she does soon so that we can get past this stage now we see that 
not only Fatima is having an issue with this whole thing, but Erin is. Because Erin is having a conversation with Pam to say, like, what the hell is going on with Zach and, and, and Karen? And Erin, at this point, like, Erin is being... The way how Karen is being to Zach is the way Erin is being to Karen. Let me explain. When Zach is telling Karen that, listen, I don't want you or whatever... It's like the same thing with Aaron. Karen is telling Aaron that Aaron, we're not going to work out, but Aaron is holding on to hope and faith, just like Karen is. So it's like they're both delusional together. They belong together. At this point, I think the child is going to be Zex because why wouldn't she tell Aaron that the child is, is his um, when they were having the conversation where she said that she doesn't want to do it anymore and she wants to be single? I'm guessing because she wants to be with Zach. But I'm guessing the child is going to be Zach's child because why wouldn't she tell him at that point? That's all I'm talking about with that with that entire situation. I've voiced my opinion several times about it. After listening to the Twitter spaces last night, I kind of got a different perspective on where Zach is coming from when Devel did some explanation. But I'm still rocking with my girl Fatima and i don't have too much to say on it but i get where he's coming from like he's not understanding why she's upset because she's not vocal about it but he should know his fiance by now well they haven't been together that long but he should know that that's what i'm saying he should know that she's so uncomfortable with the situation and he should take several steps back that's just my opinion now let's talk about Maurice. That Maurice is over this entire Q situation and Maurice is Maurice has a cousin who can deal with the situation. A cousin that he can't tell Calvin anything about. Um guys, do you think that Maurice's cousin is madam? What if Maurice knows madam? Right? Like what if he and Fatima are cousins as well? Maurice is like, I have a cousin who can take credit because apparently they go to see the lawyer. The lawyer is telling them that they can get up to 15 years because Q is being a witness. And the fact that Maurice threatens, threatened him is not making the situation any lighter. It's just getting worse. So Maurice is just over the situation. He's like, I can have somebody handle this quick and quick and fast because if there is no witness, there is no case. And this case get he gets thrown out right i understand where maurice is coming from i mean q q has put him through so much q has taken so much from him so i get his mental like where he's coming from when he said that he has a cousin he's telling calvin that listen the less you know the better because i don't want to get you mixed up in any of this so i'm guessing that's why he felt so confident to go and threaten q that he's going to have him killed now q is back to work in a wheelchair like q why are you back to work in a wheelchair aren't you the person that carry bags how are you going to be effective at work in a wheelchair but he's uh, trying to have a conversation with danny and danny is not having it danny actually pushes him off in the wheelchair and let let him roll like she's not having it q q is looking self-pity from danny but i think that's the probably the worst person that you could probably go to trying to get pity from danny danny is not having it worse you're having her friend sent to jail for up to 15 years oh my god like guys i get where maurice is coming from tell me in the comments if you get where maurice is coming from maurice is completely over it maurice is fed up maurice wants to do to q what he's doing to him like he took so much from him he's he's just put him put in him through hell so i understand where maurice is coming from but q q is like a cockroach they don't die like you have to starve them to kill them like they don't die you can't just kill them like that at first it was the drugs like it was the drugs that caused q to rub the back but why is he going the extra mile to say that Maurice and Sabrina did it because there was a point where Sabrina's at the airport and Sabrina's asking like why are you doing all this but I think it's probably just to get his self off I think he's just doing it so that he doesn't get in trouble like if I'm not in trouble you guys are in trouble and I'm in witness protection and, and I'm good he has a somewhere to sleep somewhere to live some money to get some food he, he'll be okay I think that's what he's doing it for. I don't think he has any ulterior motive or anything like that. I think it's just to get a place to stay, get a place to live so he can go to work or whatever he does to make some money. I think that's, that's just it. Guys, can you believe that Hayden done went and got married? I mean... 
and everybody deserves some love. I'm happy for you here that even though the circumstances are beyond what you think. But I think that Tamara is going to be a good wife. Now, I know you guys probably have a lot of questions, but I think Tamara is going to be a good wife. The reason why I say this is because Tamara likes the life. Tamara wants to live a certain type of lifestyle, and I think Hayden can provide that for her. And I think she will stick around long enough for him to provide that. So he might just be happy. I mean, he's he's getting it in, and he looks happy, and he's glowing. Although you might be concerned about not vetting her, and not sure where the entire thing is coming from but there was a part where Fatima saw the ring that had that sorry Tamara had on it was like this is going way too far like you were not supposed to do all of that so I'm pretty sure that Fatima is going to want to end the marriage because she doesn't want him to find out that he she's the one that sends her and then the whole thing is gonna blow up in her face and then Hayden is gonna start coming after her again because it's like you ruined my life this time because Tamara is definitely going to take him behalf of everything so it's like he's going to come back with so much force and it's going to be hell for Fatima and Zach again because he, Hayden is not going to take it like now he even has Gary on his side he's not going to go that easy so I understand where Fatima is coming from like she doesn't want it to go that far so she needs to get it under control like right now I mean, apart from those scenes that we've seen, there is not much to this trailer. It's still focused um, around Zach and Karen. Apart from the scene we're seeing with Q and the fact that Sabrina and Maurice might get up to 15 years in jail. There is not much to the trailer. Now, if I left off anything, guys, or if I missed anything, please leave in the comments and tell me what I left off. Tell me your thoughts about the upcoming episode and how you are enjoying the season so far. This is it for the video guys. I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching that video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Like, share, leave a comment, and check out all the other videos on our channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.